hello my dear friends welcome back to my new lecture of control engineering this is the another part of the module third we have discussed so far the block diagram detection techniques and some rules which we are using there for the problem solving okay now the another important topic uh, it is again a 10 marks question in the video examination so let us understand this very better uh, so first of all uh, signal flow graph it is abbreviated as sfg so it is the graphical method of representing the control system okay as in the uh, block diagram reduction so that was the pictorial representation of the control system so it is nothing it is a graphical method of representing the control system using the linear algebraic equations and it is called as signal flow graph simply you have to remember it is a graphical method of representation okay it is abbreviated as sfg so in this particular what we call as topic you have to understood this uh, mason gain you have to remember this mason's gain formula uh, throughout all the problems we will use this particular form formula okay in the block diagram reduction we were using c of s uh, divided by r of s is equal to g of s upon 1 plus g of s h of s okay that was the formula for block diagram reduction but in the signal flow graph case we are using the mason's gain formula which is given by c of s upon r of s which is equal to 1 divided by delta summation of k running from 1 to n pk delta k okay where this pk delta k uh, i will later on tell you in the problematic call you, you will understood that better over there okay so this is c of s upon r of s which is the summation of these pk delta k uh, there will be k value will be 1 to n suppose if i am taking 1 so it will be p1 delta 1 if i am taking 2 then p2 delta 2 so on uh, accordingly okay we will check it in the problematic part okay uh, over there so c is nothing but output r is input uh, where this k uh, that is here k is equal to 1 to n which is number of the forward paths okay pk is the forward path gain of kth path in the problematic part you will understood it better so better to go for the problematic part so that you will have some clear image about it okay so see here dear friends later on i will tell you this formula actually you will not understand if i just uh, read the if i just pronounce pronounce the words over here so it will be difficult so let us understand the problem first then only it will be clear so example first is here for the system shown in figure determine c of s upon r of s which is nothing but transfer function using mason's gain formula okay so this is the system over here so in the block diagram uh, my dear friends there was summing point takeoff point so in this uh, signal flow graph we are uh, denoting those summing and takeoff points with the help of nodes you can see here this is the one node by a dot you can easily uh, what we call denote it or a small circle so this is your node one two three four five six seven nodes are he sorry eight nodes are here okay so in the block diagrams it was summing and tick off points so here are the nodes so first point is this then uh, this r of s is same input c of s is output okay this is the uh, g1 g2 1 if you are observing here these are all called the uh, gains were there path gains were there okay so let us understand first of all you have to check the forward path gain number of tot uh, total number of forward paths first of all you have to check total number of forward paths forward path means if you are checking uh, if you are seeing the only one direction uh, okay one direction path that is called the forward path so if i am observing here so this is straight this arrow is going straight 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 so this one is the first path that is forward path okay so you can uh, draw it like this so this is called as forward path another we can check here suppose if i take this path so here uh, the arrow is in opposite direction so this i cannot call the forward path this again i cannot call the forward path just because uh, arrow is the opposite then if i check this one arrow is going like this going like this and going like this so this is also called as forward path if it has only one direction so i have taken here the representation of it so there are total number of uh, forward paths as two over here so step one is you have to check total number of forward paths so how many paths are there n is equal to two means uh, mason is gain formula as earlier i told you that k running from uh, one to n this k is equal to now one comma two means there are two paths so it can take the value one comma two not more than that just because only two paths are here right step two find pk which is here my dear friends pk uh, pk is here now you have to uh, calculate pk how to calculate it simply it is the path gain as i old earlier told you so p1 is equal to whatever you observe in the path one so path one is this 
these are called the path gains g1 1 1 g2 g4 so you have to simply multiply them so it will become g1 g2 g4 into 1 into 1 it will become g1 g2 g4 so that is your p1 okay i hope you are understanding these concepts next one is p2 uh, this is the second path okay 1 1 g1 then g3 g4 okay this is your second forward path you have to check the path gain so in this i am getting 1 1 g1 g3 g4 that is simply g1 g3 g4 into 1 into 1 is g1 g3 g4 over here so this is the second step so step by step i am explaining to you then uh, step 3 is loop gain first of all check the loops loop means if uh, i start from this point suppose i will take this one if i start from this node i am uh, i am just uh, returning to the main node itself okay you are observing here the arrow is going like this and again it is taking the same node over here so this is called the loop i cannot uh, say this is the loop just because see here this is the arrow here not coming exactly to the original point so this is not the node over here okay hope you are getting so let me check how many uh, loops are here first so this is the one loop I can say this is the loop and next one this is also a loop just because arrow is going like this and coming to coming back to its original path so this is again a loop and also I can call this one loop this 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 is coming like this and finally up to second node over here okay this is also a loop then uh, this uh, original uh, forward path is also a loop you check here <clears throat> from starting here here then going here like this this and then then this uh, two point okay so you are getting again four loops here now you have to calculate the loop gains okay first of all let us take a loop one loop one is this that is uh, what we call in between nodes three comma five so i can write big here three comma five is one loop so uh, you have to just calculate loop gain so uh, what are the forward gains here path gains that is g1 g2 and h2 but minus h2 so it is uh, loop gain will be g1 into g2 into minus h2 okay so i am get getting here as minus times g1 g2 h2 okay so g1 g2 h2 but minus times okay so minus times g1 g2 h2 then loop second i have to take consider this one so 6 comma 7 is the another loop if i take the loop gain so g4 into minus h1 so g4 into minus h1 so minus i have taken out so this is g4 into h1 this is your second loop gain okay then if i just proceed loop 3 now loop 3 so let us check first the loop 3 over here so my dear friends third loop is this 2 and 7 okay 2 and 7 is the loop 3 this one now what are the loop gains g1 g2 into 1 into g4 into minus 1 so it will become g1 g2 g4 okay so see here this is minus times g1 g2 g4 now last loop that is fourth loop which is nothing but 2 and uh, 7 again so this is your loop starting from here going like this going like this and coming to the original path so loop gain is g1 into g3 into g4 into minus 1 so i will get minus times g1 g3 g4 so here g1 g3 g4 these are the loop gains you can also draw the loops over here separately you can draw the loops from the original diagram so 3 and 5 is the one loop and 6 and 7 is the uh, loop 2 and loop 3 i am just representing it i have uh, calculated even though i have calculated the loop gains you can also draw these loops in this particular format separately so that you will get a uh, clear idea okay so number fifth now uh, to find the determinant delta just because we have to use the Meissner's gain formula at the last so i have to calculate the delta so for the delta there is the formula let us check it first <clears throat> so dear friends see here uh, delta is equal to 1 minus sum of gain of all the loops whatever the gain loops we have calculated l1 l2 l3 l4 you have to do sum of those uh, loop gains okay number one then plus sum of product of all possible combination of two non-touching loops i will tell you later on what is this what is the meaning of the non-touching loops uh, when we proceed the problem so minus sum of gain product of combination of three non-touching loops taken at a time so this will come later on in the problem okay first of all let us understood here delta 
delta is equal to 1 minus sum of all loop gains that is l1 plus l2 plus l3 plus l4 then in the formula there is sum of two non-touching loops so let us understand that now what is the non-touching loop so wherever you get the common nodes means here is the 3 5 6 7 so no number is common in this i can set this l1 and l2 are non-touching loops if i compare this one uh, 6 7 with this 2 7 so 7 is common here so these are not called the touching loops okay so next one is 2 7 here 2 7 so these are these cannot be the touching loops here non-touching loops so these two are only in this case 3 comma 5 and 6 comma 7 these are the non-touching loops okay you have to check whether the numbers are common or not so in this uh, these two loops no number is common so i can take plus non-touching loops l1 into l2 then in the formula there is the uh, sum of gain product of combination of three non-touching loops you have to compare now three uh, three loops if they are non-touching or not suppose if i take this one three five six seven and this one two seven but uh, these two are just sharing the nodes the uh, seven is the common number so these three are not cannot be said the non-touching loops if i can compare this one three five six seven and two seven so again this is not a non-touching loop so i have taken here nothing so eliminating simply uh, we can i cannot get the possible combination of the three non-touching loops so this is all about the formula how to calculate then delta is equal to one minus already you have got l1 l2 l3 l4 values simply you have to put here so what is the l1 value this one minus g1 g2 h2 like that you have to put here minus g1 g2 h2 and l2 value is minus g4 h1 minus g1 g2 g4 minus g1 g3 g4 like that you have to put down plus l1 into l2 means minus g1 g2 h2 is the l1 value into uh, l2 value is minus g4 h1 by multiplying it you will get delta is equal to 1 minus i am taking out so it will become minus minus positive the rest of the things will be same g1 g2 h2 plus g4 h1 plus g1 g2 g4 plus g1 g3 g4 plus minus into minus is plus so g1 g2 g4 h1 h2 you are getting here so this is the delta value then step fifth is to find delta k as in the messenger's gain formula it is there as i earlier mentioned what is the messenger's gain formula one divided by delta a uh, summation of k running from one to n uh, pk delta k so that delta k now i have to calculate what is the delta k over here check here my dear friends in the diagram itself <coughs> Uh, delta k is the value of delta whatever we are getting the delta value by eliminating gain of loops that are touching the kth path we have to check how many loops are touching the path over there suppose if they are all touching uh, the forward path suppose take the first forward path this is your first forward path if all the loops are touching it then you have to eliminate the values of loops so in this case this loop is also touching the path this loop is also touching the main path this loop is this is not the loop sorry so this is the loop this is again touching the forward path so in this case i have to eliminate all the loop gains means i can say that delta one is equal to one the formula of delta is one minus uh, sum of all the loop gains but in this i have to eliminate so the zero value you have to take again for the three non-touching loops you have to again take zero value okay so this is is equal to one so you have to uh, just write down the reason here all the loops are touching the path one that is why i have eliminating all the loop gains okay hope you are understanding so uh, delta 2 is equal to again one why just because all loops are touching you just check here this is your second forward path isn't it now you have to check all the loops are touching it or not suppose this is touching at this point this loop is also touching here this loop is also touching at here right so uh, this is again touching the uh, what we call as forward path over here so again i have to eliminate them simply i can write delta 2 is equal to 1 just because all paths yeah all the loops are touching the path 2 okay so delta 1 already calculated delta 2 already calculated now we can write step 6 overall transfer function which is given by c of s upon r of s 1 upon delta uh, summation running from k, k running from 1 to n p k delta k what is the value of p, uh, p k means p 1 delta 1 p 2 delta 2 just because two paths are there two forward paths are there we have calculated p 1 p 2 delta 1 delta 2 value see here p 1 value already calculated p 2 value already calculated and delta 1 already calculated and delta 2 already calculated okay now you have to just put down the values so p 1 value g 1 g 2 g 4 
delta 1 means 1 so 1 no need to write plus uh, p2 value is g1 g3 g4 and delta 2 is 1 so no need to write divided by delta value is here you are getting 1 plus g1 g2 like that you have to only put here so this is your Mason's gain formula by which you can calculate the transfer function overall transfer function make sure you will comment down if this is clear to you if you have some doubts you can ask in the comment section so thanks for uh, watching my video yeah, and also share this video to your all batchmates dear friends who actually need it this is the only subject control engineering subject in the seventh semester which is somehow difficult to tackle over there so thank you